Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 15.2 RC update. As you can see from the screenshot, so this is an iPhone XR and in this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 15.2 RC update which I received yesterday night. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to capture the size of the update. So if you're updating from beta 4 to RC, so it's going to be the whole operating system reinstallation. So for that, it came in about 5.85 GB on my iPhone 10R. So don't worry if you have any other device other than iPhone 10R, probably iPhone 11, 12 or 13, the update size would be kind of similar to 5.85 GB. So that's regarding the update. So in this video, we going to discuss about what's new in this iOS 15.2 RC and what are the bugs that got fixed with iOS 15.2 RC and overall how is the update performing although it's very soon to comment about an update once it gets rolled out within 24 hours but still I'll try to give you my initial impression about the same so make sure you watch this video till the end and if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on iPhone 10R and many other iPhones on my channel I'm sure you do like them so definitely give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel because it means a lot to me so with that being said let's get right into the video All right, guys, so the first things first, as I said before, so iOS 15.2 RC update came in about 5.85 GB on my iPhone XR. So first things, let me go to the settings general and about section. So as you can see, if I tap on the software version, it says iOS 15.2 and the new build number is 19C56. So that's the new build number. And unfortunately, with iPhone XR, we didn't have a new modem firmware update. But I heard that with newer iPhones like iPhone 13, 13 Pro or 13 Pro Max, we do have a new modem firmware update but I was sort of expecting a new modem firmware update but let's have a look at the differences so I had taken a screenshot as you can see before updating this was the build number and this was on iOS 15.2 beta 4 and as you can see the modem firmware was 4.0.02 and available space before updating was 27.36 GB let's have a look now so it has sort of decreased which is the almost similar case with every update so it is 27.08 GB and there's no new modem firmware update so I have said this multiple times if you're not seeing a modem firmware on a particular iPhone doesn't mean that you don't have a new modem firmware update for your other iPhones as well so modem firmware updates are device specific so if you already updating to a newer iOS version always make sure to check in the about sections of the general and settings that whether you have a new modem firmware or not now talking about how to get this update just simply go to settings and go to general and click on the software update make sure your phone is connected to Wi-Fi if you're not seeing the update if you are a beta user or developers beta then click on this automatic updates you know turn this off and turn this back on then you should be able to see the update now if you're running iOS 15.1.1 that means if you're on stable series of softwares this update is not for you if you already have a beta profile or a developers beta profile installed on your iPhone then definitely you would be able to see this iOS 15.2 RC update so let me again take you to the about section I just wanted to let you know one thing so the build number is 19c56 so this will be the public version which would be released to the public as iOS 15.2 in the coming week that's expected so talking about the new features you know Apple has introduced you know a voice plan with this Apple music so if you are using Apple music then definitely you can now use Apple voice plans obviously that's extra bucks that you have to pay but you can do that now so that's new so there's update on this find my application as well so all this update that I'm talking about so this have been explained in my previous videos because this iOS 15.2 RC just accumulates all the updates that have been released with you know the previous iOS versions and that gives you a stable improvement with the RC that means the release candidate version so there's an update on the you know uh, this find my application as well also there are stability improvement now talking about one big change that was you know that you know caught my attention is if we go to the settings and if we click on this privacy 
privacy option let me click on this privacy option and if you scroll down as you can see there's this option called app privacy report so this is sort of interesting and that caught my eye so if i click on this app privacy report as you can see these are all the application that accessed you know and that's being accessed by me or somebody else on my iphone and as you can see if i click on any of the particular application and this has been divided into two segments data and sensor access that means what kind of sensors have been used by different applications and and uh, the other category is network activity that means you know if you're using youtube or the application that basically uses the network or the data connection those have been segregated to this category so let's take an example if i click on this youtube as you can see you know these are the domains contacted by this particular youtube application so similarly if i click on linkedin so these are the domains contacted by linkedin application so this gives you a better transparency you know which application is using what and gives you full control to basically you know what exactly have been accessed by your installed application and based on that you can basically decide which application to remove or which application to update or you know not to update so this is actually quite a nice addition that i like with ios 15.2 so that's that's very interesting with ios 15.2 rc apart from that there are you know here and there there are many changes but the most important one more fact that i like about the ios 15.2 features is this reminder so we all know about reminders but then you know, the, the fact that we can now add tags with the reminders let me you know try to create a reminder demo reminder if i see that it's, it's a demo reminder and if i try to use a hashtag as you can see it's it's it sort of give me the hashtag options as you can see if i click on this add option and somewhere it's it's give me the hashtag options you can add tags and now the main thing is you can delete multiple tags so now the tags options are available so it's you know a better control over your existing tags and you can actually you know sort your all your reminders through tags so that's actually impressive so apart from that many of people you know talks about the performance the performance is real breeze with iphone 10r so i have been using this iphone 10r man for three years now and the performance is really good i didn't see a lag or whatsoever with ios 15.2 the people who have complained me you know in past regarding the ios 15.2 or 15.1 performance on iphone 10r it actually you know the user case specific so so people actually you know wanted to know about the geekbench 5 scores so here are geekbench 5 scores as you can see the single course came in about 1108 the multi-core score came in about 2444 so if you are on ios 15.2 rc let it be developers or the uh, beta build or the rc build if you the score uh, is matched or near about something like this then your performance should be really good now let's talk about the battery life so this is one more point is people actually you know takes a lot of interest so let me click on this battery and before i talk about the battery uh, you know the graph and how much screen on and screen off time i get i want to you know take you to the battery health section as you can see before updating the battery health was 89 percent and after updating to ios 15.2 rc i didn't notice a drop in the battery health and it still supports peak performance capability and i will say this one more time if you have missed out turning on optimized battery charging do make sure that this is on this actually helps a lot maintaining your battery health you know you can maintain it better on your iphone now let's take a look at the battery graph and the screen on and screen off time so it's looking at this you know graph and the screen on and screen off time it's pretty obvious that you know this is not my primary device so i've said this before in couple of my you know previous videos that i have iphone 12 which i actually use as my primary device but this iphone 10r has sort of become my secondary device but although when i made the previous video about ios 15.2 beta 4 many people have you know commented and was skeptical about the battery life but you know i was you know uh, just you know time to time i was just you know using some application just to you know keep a tab on the battery life how the battery life is so i could say that with ios 15.2 beta 4 the battery life has been a little improved over ios 15.2 beta 3 but with this rc version coming into the picture i think so but the battery life would be you know further more improved overall so then again this video was kind of a long video i just wanted to give you my initial
initial impression about iOS 15.2 or C update. If Apple doesn't find any major bugs on this release candidate version, probably this will be the final version that you would be seeing if you are using stable series of updates. That means if you're on iOS 15.1 or maybe iOS 15.1.1. So then again, I hope you have liked this video on iOS 15.2 RC on my iPhone 10R. Do let me know in the comment section below if you have any specific queries regarding anything on my iPhone 10R. I'll try to give you the answers in the comment section below. So then again, I hope you like this video. Give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. This means a lot to me. So I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.